I'm going to play a game of solitaire for Mahjong competition rules. If you're new to this version, look for a link below the video to a lesson playlist and to where you can get the quick reference. In here are 85 scoring elements. You've got to have eight fawn to even qualify to win. So you've got to know these scoring elements. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. All my tiles have been mixed and built into walls next to the risers. This way we can keep track of the progress of the game based on how many tiles are left for picking. We're going to say that it is the East Round. Remember, we got to have eight fawn to win. I mean, you could have more. More is better, but eight is a minimum. That's why I like to practice. I try to get to that eight fawn as quickly as possible and then see opportunities to maybe stack fawn. I'm gonna deal the tiles now. East will get 14, Southwest and North will get 13 each. Then we're gonna look at everybody's hand and see where the opportunities are for scoring elements. Everybody has their tiles. Let's look and see what we can do for player one, also known as East. Okay, for these tiles, we have mixed suits, first thing I noticed. Two bams, five dots, and four cracks. So I'm thinking we should work with the number tiles. I would get rid of these first and play all simples. Those would be tiles two through eight. All simples is number 68. That's two fawn. So we're gonna need more fawn. We do have a lot of lower numbers. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Maybe we could do, if we get one through four, what about lower four? We would have to sacrifice these as well. That's six discards, which is significant. I don't know if I would do that. I think what I'd rather try is maybe a mixed triple chow. Here's two, three, four, four, five, three, four, five, four, five, three. So we're light if we need to get a three, four, five in the BAMs, but that's one way to get more fun. Mixed triple chow is number 41. That's eight fawn. Let's see, so we could do, if we could get some more bams, we could maybe do mixed shifted chows for six fawn. That's number 51, three chows, one of each suit, each shifted one from the next. So we have two, three, four. We could do maybe three, four, five, and then four, five, six. So there's lots of flexibility with lower numbered chows. So let's focus on that and discard these. With all these singles, let's see, we really have two pair here. Yeah, I don't think I would look at lesser honors and knitted tiles, number 34, 147, 258, 369 in mixed suits. We have a three, two, five, no eight, three for 369, 147, we have a four. It's too light and we have two pair. I'd rather try to leverage the pair. As a matter of fact, here we have three, four. If we can get pair up the two crack, maybe we could do pure 
or mixed shifted pungs, which is eight fawn. That's number 42. Three pungs or kongs, one in each suit, each shifted one from the last. So we have two, three, four mixed suits. If we could pair up the two, that's another potential. I'd say that's more of a long shot though. So I'm thinking all simples, maybe mixed triple chow for this player. If we draw one through four, we maybe could do lower four. Lower four is number 37 and that's 12 fawn. So that's the highest single fawn count for this arrangement of tiles, but we would have six discards, which is a lot. I think mixed triple chow is probably the best with all simples. And I, I think that we have a pretty good chance of getting there. So let's now move on to South, player two, see what we can do for their tiles. Okay, so we have four BAMs, six cracks, three single honors. It's the East round. Each one of these, if punged, could be two fawn, which is nice, but as single honors, that's not gonna help. Right now we have no dots. That's called a voided suit, and that's one fawn. If you are in mixed suits like this and you have a missing suit, that's called one voided suit. That's number 75, that's one fawn. So I think because we do have chow potential here, here, these are isolated. I think I would try for a half flush, half flush. Half flush is six fawn. So we would need to either pair up and pung or potentially play pure straight. Here we have a one, three, five, six, eight, nine. If we get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, that's called a pure straight. A pure straight, number 28 is 16 fawn. We could make that our primary goal, pure straight, pair up and pung, draw in more cracks to help out, discard these. Pure straight, half flush potential. Let's see what we can do now for player three or west. They have two flowers. You cannot count the flowers in your eight fawn minimum. These are bonus. So we're gonna put these out and take replacements from the back of the wall. Okay, we got a green dragon, single honor. Here's the three, four, two, two, three, four. Four bams, three dots, four cracks. I'm thinking number tiles here. We do have a chow here, six, seven, eight, Here's two, four chow potential, isolated. There's a chow right there, seven, eight, nine, seven, eight, nine, eight. There's mixed triple chow potential in here too. This is isolated. I think we'd have to take this one at a time, one turn at a time, get rid of those first. Try for number tiles, maybe discard the nine and try for all simples. Because we could do six, seven, eight, six, seven, eight, six, seven, eight, and get rid of that nine for all simples, another two fawn. Let's just see what happens. Discard those first, I think. Okay, we're gonna look and see what we can do for north now, player four. Okay, here, we have two pair and a pung. They're consecutive, two, three, four. That would be an example of mixed shifted pungs. Mixed shifted pungs is number 42, eight fawn. We need to, we need to push for that, I think. 
I think I would discard these two first and then even this nine bam because we also have mostly simples. Mixed shifted punks, all simples. Okay, we'll see. Because this is a potential chow, although it's a bit redundant because we have a, we have a potential chow here too. So I think we could get rid of that nine because we already have a chow potential there. This potential chow is what's called a side weight where we need the seven to complete a seven, eight, nine. That's weak. Here we have a closed weight where we need the seven in the middle. That's also weak. So they're both equally weak at the moment, but these are simples. So we'll see what happens here. Let's go ahead and start by discarding. Here we were thinking maybe pure shifted pungs or all simples. Therefore, let's discard the north. North is down. North is down. Nobody can take it, so we're going to draw. North might as well follow suit. Singles, single honors, not helpful. And I think here we were going to maybe, oh, that could have helped with half flush. But there's only four of every tile and the north already went down. All right, too late now. Once it's discarded, you got to let it go. We're going to draw. Probably should have kept it and discarded these. West, that's their seat. East, south, west. So that could bring score, but... Here, we're thinking about mixed triple chow or all simples. So, this is isolated, but there's so much more flexibility with, with number tiles. Let's focus on number tiles and get rid of the east. Drawing for north. Nine bam, we paired up. We could do all pung, all pung. One, two, three, four blocks, and then pure sh or mixed shifted pungs. Mixed shifted pungs and all pung would be eight fawn plus six, all pung. All pungs is six fawn. So let's, let's see about that instead of going all simples because you can't have terminals with simples for all simples. You have to get rid of your honors and terminals. And since we paired up, let's leverage it and pung. So we need to pung here, here, and here. So let's go ahead and discard south. Um, let me see here. Oh, let's see. This goes there. Okay. Here we go. Drawing for east. White dragon. We want to do all simples. We need to get rid of these. Let's throw the west. Drawing for south. Two dot. We want to we want to play half flush or pure straight here. Let's get rid of the two dot. Nobody can take the two dots, so we're going to draw. Six bam. There's a six, seven, eight now. Six, seven, eight or a pair. West was thrown. Let's discard that. There's only four of every tile, so the chances of getting that are going to be pretty slim. Let's draw. Four bam. There's chow potential there, but we want to go pung. White, white dragon. 
Let's see if we can pung. Down here we're going to draw white dragon. Singles can't take it. To crack. Okay, we could maybe pung, pung, pung. But we need another, let's see, if we did, if we did mix shifted pungs, that's eight fawn. So we could have a chow in there and still make the minimum. So that's one, two, three, four blocks. All we need in here is a pair. Let's discard the white dragon. Let's see, four, 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 one. Okay, all right, we gotta keep an eye on discards if we're gonna pung. We could always stay concealed too, if possible. So white dragon was thrown, two are out, we're gonna draw. Eight crack. Well, there's a pair, but we're gonna try to do a pure straight here. Two white dragons are out. We still need to get rid of these. There's a one, two, five, eight white dragon. Let's discard that. There are two out. That's not gonna be helpful. Maybe we could chow. If we get a pure straight, that's still a decent score. I would just like to do it with one suit and honors though. Half flushed for more fawn. So white dragon was thrown. We're gonna draw for west. Nine crack. There's a pair. So we have a pair here or six, seven, eight pair or seven, eight, nine potential. We're light in dots if we're doing mixed triple chow. So let's keep our options open and discard the single green dragon. Drawing for north. One crack. We, let's see, we're looking to pair up. Let's get rid of the terminal. One crack. One crack. Nobody can take it. Down here, technically we could for a one, two, three. But we don't have any other one, two, three chow capability. All chow in mixed suits with no repeating pattern is very low score. All chow is too fawn. We would not have enough. We need more. I think I would be concealed and try for mixed shifted pungs or mixed triple chow. So let's draw flower. That may or may not help later as a bonus tile. Nine dot, we want simples. Let's keep it though and discard the red dragon. Single honor. Drawing for south. One dot. We're really hoping to get a pure straight. Let's discard the one dot. Oh, and that's also a voided suit right now too. So two dot, nobody can take it. We're gonna draw. Four bam, there's a bridge. Three, four, pair of sixes, seven, eight, two, four, isolated, isolated three crack. Let's discard, let's see, wait a minute. I think we were thinking of maybe doing all simples but we have a six, seven, eight here, an eight, potential six, seven, eight, but here we have a pair. We have had, this will be our fourth discard. We wanna to try to be ready to win in six discards if we can. So let's keep the pair and we may be able to use it. Even though, yeah, because if we split this out, we could use six, seven, eight, six, seven, eight, six, seven, eight pair. Here's a potential chow. It's a bit redundant because either way we need a five or a two. So this is a potential chow. We want to keep the eight for a potential mixed triple chow. The three was not used in any of those scenarios. So let's discard that. We're going to draw here. So three crack, three crack, Nobody can take it, so we'll draw. Seven, bam. Okay, so there's a pung, pair, six, seven, eight, two, bam, three, four. Let's discard, oh, we have all the fours. I just noticed that. 
but I think this mix shifted pungs looks really good to me. Let's discard the four dot. I want to try that. I don't think I've done that before, so I want to see if we could do that. So we're going to have to really watch discards. So four dot was discarded. Nobody can take it except this player here. Let's pung. So we're going to pung from north. North is the player on my left. So there's our first pung. We want to pung the three bam and the two crack. There's a chow. Here's two potential chows. Let's get rid of the two dot. We still need a pair in here. There's a two dot out also. All right, we're going to draw up here. One bam. There's a pair. We got a pair of the offsuit. So if we get a pure straight, pure straight, just as a reminder, is eight fawn. Let's discard the eight bam. Eight bam, and then maybe the five there. Maybe we could use this as a pair because here we have one, two, three blocks. This could be our pair. Let's see, one, two, three. We need another chow in here. That's why I was hoping to draw either more cracks or these. There's already a green dragon out and an east. Okay, well, we'll see what happens here. Let's go ahead and see what we can do up here. Now, an eight bam was discarded. We have a pair of nines. Seven, eight, eight, two, three, six, seven, eight. We already have a chow with an eight. If we chowed it, that would leave an isolated eight. Let's not break a chow to make the same chow. Let's draw. Maybe we'll draw in a seven dot or a nine dot or maybe a six dot for a potential mixed triple chow. Eight dot, we pair it up. <laughs> okay, so now we have one, two, three pair. If we get one more pair, we could do all pung, which is six fawn. Six fawn, but we would need two more fawn somewhere else. Six, if we paired up the seven crack, we could do mixed shifted pungs, six, seven, eight. Okay, we got to make a choice now because we got to discard. There's pair, keep it. Potential mix triple chow. Potential there. We need to either throw these or these. This is a side weight. We need a two bam or a five bam for that. Let's get rid of the closed weight here. Discard the two dot. There are two of those out anyway. So we're going to be able to throw away that four dot next maybe. Okay, now up here, two dot, nobody can take it, so we're going to draw. Nine bam, we have a pung, we have two concealed pungs now. I wonder if that is a scoring element. Two concealed pungs, number 66, two fawn, two fawn. Okay, let's, let's discard the four bam. So we have pung, pung. Chow, pung, pung. We need a pair in here. I think we're going to have to break that up because we need a pair. Right now, they only have two fawn. Because we have a chow in here, that's going to lower the value. I think we should still try for all pung, which is six fawn. All pung and mixed shifted pungs. We need to pair up. break that up. So four bam was thrown. We need to pung here. We couldn't take it anyway. This player 
doesn't need it and couldn't take it for a chow anyway. You can only chow from the player on your left. So that would be this player for west. Okay, so we're going to draw for east, last tile, second wall. Two crack. Look at that. They've got a concealed pung. There's a chow. Concealed pung. Let's get rid of the nine dot. Now they will have all simples and they've had six discards. Now they are ready to win technically on a six dot, but they would have no score. We need to pung here and be left with pairing up because we're trying for mix shifted pungs with the two, three, four. And really the reason is because we have a chow with pungs in mixed suits. That's why we're forced to wait. So nine dot was discarded. Nobody can take it. I want to show you the discards and then we'll go into the middle game. One crack. Yeah, we don't really want that. We paired up again. We need to chow, chow, chow. These really are kind of mucking up the waters for pure straight. Still, let's get rid of this five bam. There's their sixth discard and we are not ready to win. Looks good for that pure straight, but we got work to do. Five bam was thrown here. We're looking for mixed triple chow. We need score. Right now they have a mixture of pairs, only three though. I don't think I'd want to chow with that. Five, six, seven, three, four, five. We could chow three, four, five, and then try for six, seven, eight, mixed triple chow. Let's go ahead and do it. It's a little risky because we are light with our dots in the chow. So we're going to chow three, four, five, three, four, five. That's West. We're going to discard the four dot. That's their sixth discard. So here we have maybe seven, eight, nine potential, and we can use this as a pair. There's seven, eight, nine, or we can do six, seven, eight, and that's a pair. We'll see. They still have work to do. So four dot was discarded. Nobody can take it. So we're going to draw four north. Six crack. We don't want that. We need to pair up here. Let's see. It doesn't matter what suit though. None of these are out. No, the eight bam is out. Let's discard the eight bam. We need to pair up. So we want to give ourselves the best potential and there's no six crack out, no six bam or seven bam. There was one eight bam out. So six crack was discarded. Nobody could take it. This player really could, but we already have a chow three, four, five. Let's stay concealed there. Let's draw red discard drawing for South six dot off suit. We don't need that. We want cracks. Okay, here we go. Drawing for West seven dot. Look at that. We got a seven dot. Oh man, that is what we wanted right there. Now we have to choose. Okay. Seven, eight, nine. 789, 789, 789 pair. We really, if we discard this eight dot, one way or another, I think we need to discard the eight dot, eight dot, because we could pair here and do six, seven, eight, six, seven, eight, six, seven, eight, and use that as the pair. So this is looking okay. We're one away from ready here on mixed triple chow, which is eight fawn. That's barely making the minimum. So eight dot was discarded. We're going to draw here. Nine dot. Nope. We don't want that. We need to pair up right here, here, or here. Let's draw for East. They got an East. Nobody wants it. 
we're going to draw four south, south, two east are out, but we're hoping to do a, I think at this point, half flush. The, there are two east out. There are two or one. Nope, two. Let's discard the east. Maybe we could still chow and do a pure straight. If you mix suits, you're going to bring down your score, though, a little bit. But we have a pair here. Let's just see what happens. Two bam. We don't need it. Let's throw the two bam. And uh, we're going to pung right here. They're going to be no longer concealed, but they're one away from ready on mixed shifted pungs. So this would be the player on their right. All right, now we have a pung here, a pung here, single, single. Here we need to pung, so we just need to pick. And at this point, it's a bit arbitrary, really. Let's see, There's an eight, there are two eight bams out. Maybe people are holding cracks. Let's discard the six because there are very few cracks out. That's only the third crack out. So maybe people are holding them. And in this case, that is what's happening. So always keep your eye on discards. So let's, well, keep your eye on discards, but also keep your eye on what's not being discarded, which is really the same thing. Keep your eye on the discards. So we're going to draw. We don't want to take that because we already have a chow. We need to pung here and pair up here. Oh, flower. That's a bonus. Bonus. From the back of the wall. We paired up. Look at that. Oh, nice. I wish this were a pair or pung. That would have been a much higher score, but let's go for a win here. So that is that is the ninth discard, and they're ready to win on a three bam, and we want it to be the three bam. So we can get mixed shifted pungs. Seven dot. Nobody can take it. We're going to draw. Green dragon. Oh, they paired up. There's one green dragon out. Let's get rid of this two bam now. And the two bam is a pung out already, so that's a good safe tile. I think if we can pung that green, we could pung here, pung here, chow here. They have a little hope now because of that dragon, potential dragon pung. That's two fawn. Half flesh is six, that's eight fawn. So let's now draw here because nobody can take that two bam. Seven crack. All right, all right, all right. Okay, here's a pair. Seven, eight, seven, eight, seven, eight, nine. I think we are better off. Let's see, they have a three, four, five out. We need mixed triple chow. We need it. Because if we do a pure double chow, seven, eight, nine, seven, eight, nine, that's only, I think a pure double chow, that's only one fawn. We need a mixed triple chow here. So I think this was making it difficult. We need a six bam, six dot, six crack, or nines to make this work. So I think we need to discard that seven crack. As pretty as it was. Nobody can take it. You cannot chow from the player on your right. You can only chow from the player on your left. We're going to draw four north, west. Right now, they have no honors, by the way. That's, that's a fawn. Let's draw. Oh, west. Safe. Nobody wanted it. Drawing four south, three dot. Nope, offsuit. Three dot. Three dot, pung. Three dot player across. And now we're going to discard either the six bam or the seven bam. 
either one, neither are out. Let's throw the six band. They're ready to win on all pung and mixed shifted pungs. If we can get that seven bam. So this player or six bam was discarded. So this player could pung, but we want to do, we want that to be their pair. We already have a chow out and we have three more chows to make, and this could be their pair. We need to wait. Let's draw. North. Nobody wants wins. Drawing four. South. Oh, six crack. They got a keeper and a pair. We could pung, 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 pung. It's getting a little late in the game. It's actually middle of the middle wall. Let's go ahead and sacrifice this pair. Wait, no. One, two, three, four, five pair. They could play seven pair. Seven pairs, 24 fawn. Let's see if we could get them to seven pair. Three, five, nine. Let's get rid of the terminal. Nine crack. Nine crack. We're going to try for seven pair here. One, two, three, four, five. They just need one more pair and none of those are out. No, there's a three crack out. So let's see if we can do seven pair. Nine crack was discarded. Seven, eight, nine, seven, eight, nine, seven, eight, nine. They already have it and they have their pair. We need to chow here and here. Let's draw. They got it. Six dot. Okay, now we can move this around. It was the pair, but now we can do six, seven, eight, six, seven, eight, Six, seven, eight, pair nine, ready to win. Six spam. Discarded six spam. We're ready to win on a six crack. And there's one out. So we're going to draw four north. I just noticed ready to win, ready to win, ready to win, one away from ready. Flower. Six dot. Let's see, ne neither of these are out. Oh no, there's a six dot out. Let's throw that. We need a seven bam to win. Down here, nobody can take that six dot. We need a six crack there. East. Here we go. We need a three crack, five crack, or south. Seven crack. Seven crack. There's a seven crack out. There's, all right, let's just look here. One, two, hmm, mixed triple or pure, pure double chow potential here. There's a seven crack out though. Let's see, six, seven, eight, six, seven, eight. We've got here or one away on pairs. Pair, 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 pair. I think we should stick with pairs. People are discarding, let's see, there's a south out. And people are discarding uh, wins. So let's get rid of the five crack. Okay, we're going to try for all pair here. Five crack, drawing, white dragon. Safe tile, drawing for north, five bam. Okay, oh, there's a five bam out in a disc, in a chow. So let's discard that. Drawing for east, we need a three bam, six crack. I would discard, I'm ready to win. Six crack, that is mahjong for west, right here. Mahjong for West. So we have this player discarded it. So I'm going to put it on its side in the middle. We have chow, 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 chow pair.
playing solitaire has helped me identify scoring elements in my drawn hand. And then as we progress through the game, I have learned to monitor discards and even notice maybe what's not being discarded and change my plans accordingly. And then finally, at the end of the game, I've been able to find additional scoring elements that I missed while playing. That short straight was a happy accident. I didn't even know it was there until I started scoring my hand. This is one reason why you want to download this player reference. Have it with you while you're playing the game, at least until you've memorized these scoring elements and they're fun. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click that little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next solitaire for Mahjong Competition Rules, may all your picks be keepers.